Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from LeetCode called Moving Average from Data Stream. These are the companies that asked this question. And what is it asking? Given a stream of integers and a window size, calculate the moving average of all integers in the sliding window. Implement the moving average class. So moving average will take in an integer size and that should initialize the object with the size of the window size. And also a double next which returns the moving average of the last size values of the string. So example one, we have moving average initialized to size three. So we're going to want to figure out the average of the last three numbers we've come across. At this point, this is the only number we've seen. So our average is also going to be one itself, right? Just one divided by one, which is one. Then we call next with 10. At this point, we've seen two numbers. So the average of this would be one plus 10, which is 11 divided by two gives us 5.5. Then we come across three. Same thing, one plus 10 plus three is 14. Dividing that by three will get us 4.667. Now we call next again, this time with five. At this point, we exceed our window size. Remember, we only want the average of the past size numbers we've come across. So in this sliding window, the past three numbers we've seen are 10, three, five, which means we no longer really need to keep track of this one anymore. So we're just gonna get rid of it. And so figuring out the average of these numbers is 10 plus 3 plus 5, which is 18. Dividing that by our window size of 3 will give us 6. So that is our output over here. Okay, so how do we solve this? We kind of just did it as we did a walkthrough with an example. We know the first thing we want to do is initialize the object with the size of the window size that we're passing in. So let's just define that. Solve.size is going to be the size that we pass in. What else do we want? We know we only want to keep track of the last size numbers and anything beyond that we don't really need. For this, we can use our queue data structure first in first out. We're just going to append to the end of our queue every new number that we see. And once we exceed our window size, we're just going to remove from the front the earlier numbers we had seen. So we always keep that length of the size that we want. So let's initialize a queue. Solve.q is going to be dq. Now, what if instead of just three numbers, our window size was, say, 15? So we had something like this, a lot of 10 threes and fives. So to this, say I'm adding on another number, eight, which means this number is now going to get pushed off and we need to recalculate the entire average. So we need to sum up all of these numbers and then divide by our window size. But instead of summing up every single number in our window size for a sum every single time, what are we doing? We're only getting rid of one number and adding in a new number. So we can just simulate that, right? Just keep track of a running sum. And every time we exceed window size, we're going to subtract by the number we want to remove and add by the number we're entering. This way we can reduce the number of operations actually needed. And every single time we have a running sum, we'll just divide by our window size or however many numbers we've seen if we haven't hit that window size. So let's also keep track of a running sum. Running sum is going to be initialized to zero. For next, we know we are passing in a number. What do we want to do? We just want to add this to the end of our queue. So solve.q.append our val. We're also going to be adding this to our running sum. So solve.running sum plus equals val. At this point, we've taken into account this new number we've added on. But what if we exceed that window size? So if length of solve.q is greater than solve.size, we want to remove the earliest value we've seen. So that's going to be on the left, which means we want to pop left from our queue. So solve.q.pop left. And this is going to return that earliest number. We know we want to use that number and subtract that from running sum. So we can directly do that. Solve.running sum minus equals solve.q.pop left which means at this point, we know we have a sum that does not exceed window size and we just want to return the average. So we want to return solve.running sum divided by the length of our queue. So length of solve.q. And why are we dividing by the length of queue rather than window size? Well, in the beginning, we might not always get numbers to fill in that entire window size. So it's just going to be the numbers we've seen, right? If we had just seen this one, our average wouldn't be one divided by three. It would just be one divided by one. That's the only number we've seen so far. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now, before leaving, let's just do a super quick walkthrough to make sure we understand exactly what's happening. Say we have the following example. We have moving average that we are going to call with two, which means we're passing into this function a size of two. Defining these variables, we're going to set self.size to be two, initialize our self.q, and then the running sum to be zero. 
Now we're going to call next with zero. So we're passing in the value to be zero. We're just appending this value to the queue. So we're adding in two over here, adding in that same value to our running sum. So this is also going to go to two. And then we check the length. The length of our queue is just one. It's not more than the size of two. So there's nothing we need to bump out. And we just return the running sum, which is two divided by our length, which is one. So we're going to return two as our output. This is the average so far. Calling next again with four, we do the same thing. We just append to our queue. So we're appending four. Next, we update running sum. So this is going to go up to six. This if condition, the length of our queue is two, but it's not greater than our size. So we don't go in here and we calculate running sum. So six divided by our length, which is two. So we output three. We call next one last time with three. So we are again appending this value to our queue, updating running sum. So adding three to this total puts it at nine. And this time when we make a check, the length of our queue is greater than our size. So what we're going to do is subtract from running sum what we get once we pop left. Popping left removes this two. And we want to use that two and subtract from running sum, which puts us at seven. Now from here, all we need to do is return solve.running sum divided by the length of our Q, which is two. So seven divided by two is 3.5. And this is our answer. So this is how we solve moving average from data stream. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, let me know down below in the comments. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.